Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim, Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio, coming to you this uh, last day of 2018, December 31st, 2018. Well, I should be out of Facebook uh, jail from being able to like and share around four o'clock today like i said in my one of my other videos th three times and i of course i have all the evidence here first time they said i was going too fast second time they said it was because of uh liking and sharing True News, um, which is a conservative Christian Facebook page. And then the third time, they didn't say why. But I also have something here, too, about here uh, not too long ago. Another conservative, conservative Christian Facebook page called Skywatch TV was um, <sighs> muted basically they were muted by Facebook from even being able to post anything here just recently some of you people maybe have seen this story here in the news Facebook Massive secret rule book for policing speech reveals inconsistencies, gaps, and bias. Yeah, that was in the news. Just recently. Also, just recently. Uh, Facebook punishes Franklin Graham over LGBT bathroom bill post that he posted back in 2016 then just here just uh, just also recently very recently Facebook apologizes for the ban against Franklin Graham of course Franklin Graham says that Facebook needs uh, a standard on uh, based on God's word. There is a war against Christians, conservative Christians, on f social media, Facebook, for one, and I have the proof here in an email that I received, and I. Uh, white out the names here and email address but they said they can help with my Facebook problems the only thing that can really help is that these people wake up for once in their sorry lifetime and stop shadow banning conservative Christians just because you hate us sorry I was on something here, and uh, now my TV came back on. Let me get back here to where I was at and freeze that again. Where is it? Right there. It came back on because there was a... Hang on a second. Um... We a test. And they will do anything now to watching a religious program here. I I taped so, and I you know, paused it, but then that test came on and made my TV play. Like I said, in this email uh, I received, it says their name that they are a community moderator for Facebook that they are a Pentecostal Christian 
which makes it difficult to cooperate with uh, their peers. That they, if they come out basically uh, with their faith, that they could be disciplined or fired. And their supervisor recently was ordered to shadow ban my account for Christian hate speech and shadow. Of course, shadow banning is a process by which a user isn't actually banned but is essentially unable to like, share, or use any other Facebook features. And Facebook and other tech companies have been under investigation for shadow banning conservative Christians, which is, I know, that's, you know, been going on in the news there lately. So, yeah, I believe that this email has some merit in what this person is saying, but, of course, I'm not contacting this person because, of fact, I just don't want to, you know, And then also they said too here, what's been happening to m me and Rick Wiles is unfortunate. Well, like I said, it's also been happening to who else? Who else did I say? Huh? Franklin Graham. Franklin Graham. And all the reason is because they hate God's Word, the truth of God's Word. For instance, Leviticus 18. The laws, is it Leviticus 18? Laws of sexual morality. Especially this part right here. You shall not lie with a male as with a woman. It is an abomination. Well, that would even make this what Jesus, Jesus said in uh, Matthew, Matthew 19. On divorce, marriage and divorce. Said here, and he answered and said to them, Have you not read that he who made them in the beginning, male and female, male and female, and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father. And mother and be joined to his wife and the two shall become one flesh so then they are no longer two but one flesh therefore what God has joined together let not man separate but now we're coming out with man with laws that are, is separating a man and a woman in marriage. Jesus said, Let not man separate. I don't care that you know the Bible doesn't care about your laws. Oh, but but the uh, uh, Romans says we gotta obey every ordinance. Well, you know what? You don't have to blindly, blindly, blindly obey every ordinance. You got to pray for our leaders that they will no longer be blind and wake up and stop catering to the agenda that these hate mongers of the gospel, the truth of the gospel, hates. Is also here in um, God's Word. 
in uh, 1 Corinthians 5. 1 Corinthians 5. Immorality defiles a church. And I'm sorry. Yes, we have the right to judge those who are inside the church. As soon as I get to that page here. So, so right here, for what have I to do with judging those who are on are outside? Do you not judge those who are inside? But those who are outside, God judges. Therefore, put away, put away from yourselves the evil person. Well, how can you put away somebody if you don't judge them? And then the next page, and uh, seven, there's the principles of marriage that Paul also gave us. Keep your marriage vows. There's a lot in the Bible about marriage and the true purpose of marriage. That these people just want to... All they want to do is have their fun. They want their cake and eat it too. And destroy... Everything that is the truth of the gospel. For instance, here's also, you know, marriage, Christ, and the church. Again, right here. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and join to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. That is what Jesus said in Matthew. Cannot be any plainer than that. And another thing too that they hate about what I talk about is the end times. End times. First Thessalonians 5. But concerning the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write to you. In other words, he's not writing about the season, times and seasons, but he is writing about what will happen. In the days of the Lord. For when they say peace and safety. Then sudden destruction come upon them. As labor pains upon a pregnant woman. And they shall not escape. But you brethren are not in darkness. So that the days should overtake you. As a thief it, you should Excuse me. You are son, all sons of the light and sons of the day. We are not for the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as the others do, but let us watch and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk and are drunk at night but as you are a day be slow sober putting on the breastplate of faith and love and are and that as give me and as a helmet of salvation for God did not appoint us to wrath which is what will come after the tribulation. But to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Who died for us. 
that whoever we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Okay, that's that part I wanted to read. Now, there's something else there, too. I wanted to great a, a prophecy. Apostasy, apostasy, excuse me, which is found in Second Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians two. Now, brethren, concerning the coming which is Persia of our Lord Jesus Christ, and our gathering to Him, which is the uh, rapture or the catching away. We ask you not to be soon shaken in mind or, or trouble, either by spirit or by word or by letter, as if from us, as though the day of Christ had come. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless one, there is a falling away that comes first, and then the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Those two things had to come first before Jesus returns for the catching away, the rapture. Those two things had to happen first before the rapture. And also in First Timothy, um, actually four, First Timothy four. Now the Spirit exceedingly says that in latter times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their own conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and committing, commanding to abstain from foods which God created to receive with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. So, there, I've been constantly told that meat that, you know, as told was forbidden in the Old Testament, which is no longer forbidden, that I shouldn't be eating. Again, lies and hypocrisy. Lies and Hypocrisy. Because that's all you want to do is speak hypocrisy. Now something else I want to read here in, in conclusion is um, 2 Timothy 3. I mentioned this many times before. But know this, that in the last days perilous times will come for men will be lovers of themselves. Lovers of money. Boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving. Slanders without self-control. Which is what a lot of these uh, LGBTQs like to do. They're without self-control. Brutal. Despisers of good. Traitors. Headstrong. They're headstrong too because they think they have more rights. I got a call coming in here. I got to give it to Renee real quick here. Sorry about that. Yeah. Also, uh, where was I? Okay. 
having a form of godliness but denying its power. Okay. And from such people turn away for Okay. Uh, you know, they creep into homes and all that stuff. Uh, then right here it okay. says... Just, just by, by the ear for right now. But evil... Excuse me, uh, my, my Bible's falling apart here. But evil men and imposters will grow worse and worse... Deceiving and being deceived. Okay. Okay, thank you. That is what is happening in Latin, in, 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 the, in these times that we are living in. Imposters are everywhere trying to impersonate my somebody being my son on 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 uh, YouTube. Wake up for once in your sorry lifetime. You must really have a sorry life. To do nothing else better than to pretend to be somebody you're not. <coughs> yeah, I said before and I'll say it again. Grow up before it's too late. Because the time is short. You know it's short, and that's why you're doing what you're doing. Because you want to take as many people with you that you can. And destroy the Word of God. Well, you know what? You cannot destroy the Word of God. Because the Word of God is forever and forever and forever. As far as the East is from the West is the Word of God. So on this note, I'm going to leave you with this Happy New Year. And may God richly bless you and protect you. And the new year. Have a blessed day.